So I've been playing with this realm right now is this whole concept of velocity equals really, um, you know, um, kind of propelling efficiency or power or over drag, right? So I've been looking at this and this other stuff in here that's not really that important, but it's this whole concept of propelling efficiency and how do you develop it, how do you get better at it, how do you improve it. And we all understand drag and all the three, you know, the different types of drag and you know, the minute you take your drag to go get it to go down, obviously your velocity goes up, which is great. Um, and we can work pretty hard. One of the biggest things from the shiny suit area, you know, when we had the technical suits was this went down significantly mm -hmm. and the cost of swimming went down significantly. So everything went up. So, but the most thing here is this, this propelling efficiency because everyone on a cardiovascular level has an endpoint. They have a genetic endpoint. They can't really uh, go beyond that genetic endpoint. But I find that even swimmers at the elite level, even the, you know, even Dressel, even people at the very elite level still have a deficiency in what I call propelling efficiency. And um, we know now that in order to improve propelling efficiency, you have to do slow movements at slow rates. Um, and the idea is that if I'm trying to trace a certain pattern and I can stripe it, if I can stripe that pattern exactly the same every time, then my chances are that the efficiency of managing that pattern is going to become very high. Mm -hmm. So if I'm doing something at a very low rate, my ability to do this is very high. And uh, when I start tempering up super fast, now all of a sudden my iterations are scattered. And so the efficiency of the movement is much broader. So what I've been playing with in recent uh, last couple of years is doing movements that are very meticulous and specific oriented followed by movements at race intensities and marrying the two together in order to help the brain understand this transition to that. So giving it context because if you only train here or you only train here you don't have that context. So the idea is to train a very very meticulous pattern, specific pattern a certain way to get this effect so the brain says, okay, I got it, I understand the pattern. And then you put them into a really high intensity race velocities. And yes, they're gonna be a lot of variety of iterations of that pattern of movement are gonna vary uh, to a fairly large degree depending on the athlete. But by kind of bridging the two together, then the ability to eventually get this into a much narrower band will be much higher and essentially the cost of swimming goes down. So that your propelling efficiency goes up and the cost of swimming goes down. And because the brain's you know, managing a tighter pattern of movement uh, with the efficiency of that pattern of movement, the recruitment of motor units to manage the pattern of movement gets better. So this last couple of years, it's been all about dealing with this. And I dealt with this for years and years. And um, you know, we, we all know, we're all very clued into how to do that with this, this propelling efficiency and then being able to teach it and then be able to put athletes into environment where they can take advantage of it, enhance it. Hey, do you love swim swim as much as I do? Do you want hours of endless practice footage, race video, and a guide to the best pancakeries in the country? Then subscribe to our YouTube channel below and follow us on social media at Swim Swam News on Twitter and Instagram. If we get a million followers, I might just eat a million pancakes. Only one way to find out.